goes to Big Drives. He'll get it to Forts. You can't give him that look. Forts puts it to bed. He steals it from Lausanne with a two-piece killer. So I think uh, if we go back to 2023, we had a pretty good season. We also had some setbacks, but I think we finished third. So we had high expectations for, uh, for the new upcoming season, 2024. We obviously didn't start that well. I mean, we, we did in Utsunomiya. We had a good, good tournament there, but then we kind of went, uh, we spiraled down and um, it started also from the qualification for the Olympics. I think that was a big blow for us because we expected to be in the Olympics. I think everybody expected us to be there, but we did really bad there. And then uh, after that, we had a really tough time uh, regaining confidence. So we had a lot of close losses. We had injuries with uh, Brian, uh, Kaspar getting back. We had to fit in uh, Thibault also in the team. But for me, it was difficult going from like a situation, even the years before, uh, where you had to decide everything with the ball in your hands, uh, really doing like a lot of playmaking, into a new team where you have Dennis and Jonas, who also like to create and have the ball and shoot a lot. So now we're just find a, like finding ways to, to make it work. Um, and me, like the most important thing is to win. Uh, and maybe some guys saw it in, uh, in Shanghai, I was like more the, the defensive guy, more screening, like helping the other guys and just taking shots when I had to, but not like the years before where I had to take all the shots. So it's like getting uh, around the team and uh, we, I think it's finally fitting well. Yeah, actually I've only been injured one time and it was a big injury, it was an ACL rupture. So it was a, a big one from the beginning. Uh, it, it hurt a lot. Uh, just physically, but it, as you said, emotionally as well. I was uh, playing great at the time. I just won an MVP in Mongolia on the Challenger. We were at the European Games and I thought I could just like take that with me and uh, go hard there as well. And I played like 10 seconds, got, went through my knee and then it was gone. So my season ended right there. And then it was a, a long battle, just trying to get back, trying to find my rhythm. Must see TV, no, tipped out, Docker, two, I think like three months ago we started winning in the challengers and from there on we started building like a good momentum and then in Debrecen three weeks ago we finished third and at that point we kind of felt like we were on a good path and then uh, last week we got to Shanghai and, uh, and got the job done so. Dennis to Ford Ford he got game! So the, the semi-final in uh, Shanghai yeah, we um, was like a really tough game against Oop. You know, Oop is all, yeah, it's one of the best teams in the world. But yeah, it was very close to the end. And then yeah, you know, in Trick Three, it comes down to making big shots. And uh, at the end of the game, Jonas has a wide open pop, and he makes the two pointer. So, Ripa finally make it to the winner's circle. Yeah, I think it's because we come from a difficult spot in the beginning of the season. We didn't start hot, and then. We went down a little bit of a rabbit hole. Now we finally got out and I think that's what made us mentally tough, knowing that we've actually had the worst already. So now we're finally winning and I think we can take that with us uh, into every game we go to now. Just play tough and then we'll see. We have the offensive power to just go ahead with every team, but I think it's, it's uh, the mental toughness and the, and the defense that really gives us the edge. The thing that made it work uh, was like talking uh, besides the court, uh, like okay, what kind of culture or what kind of uh, presence do we want to create with this team? And I think the moment we like really decided to okay, what is our goal uh, and how we're gonna get there, uh, that made the big change. And it doesn't really matter who is scoring, who is shooting. Like some games it's like more Dennis, some games it's more Jonas, some games it will be me. Uh, but it's just about like. Uh, the, the belonging of the team that really wants to win uh, and having this same mindset and same goal uh, as a group uh, and don't play as four individuals. A lot of the guys were with us last year, um, but like I said, we had to try and fit in Thibault, who's a really talented player, but the balance is super important in the team. So I think it starts off court building chemistry together and understanding each other and knowing each other. 
and then it comes down to reps and practice. Uh, I think we practiced a lot, we played a lot, and uh, to get to the point that we are now, and uh, we're hoping to finish the season uh, in a positive note. Uh, I think for us it's a, like a luxury. Uh, we can see, like depending on the tournament, depending on the game, like who is feeling, like what, is, where is the hot hand, uh, where you can really feel it already. Like okay, this guy is shooting so well, so let's let him take the final shot. And even if you decide of like making a play for the other guy, uh, we always try to adjust, like to even if the shot like is not open, you still have maybe one or two guys around you who can, you can pass to and make the shot. So I think we, we should see it as a luxury instead of like a, a difficult decision we have to make in, in the last timeout for game. I'm the youngest of the team. So I'm always looking like during the game, during practice, what can I bring to the team? Because yeah, we have a lot of scorers, a lot of great shooters. So I think I gotta bring each other, another thing to the team. Like I try to bring like a lot of energy to the team, make dirty plays, hustle plays. So I think that's kind of my role in the team. Especially with, with 3x3, it's such a, a lot of the games are decided in one or two possessions. And uh, I think if you have a good team chemistry, which we're really starting to build now, I think that's super important to, to stay together in those tough moments. And uh, I think at the right time in the season now, we're starting to get there. I think we got to come to, the, to every World Tour, to every tournament with the same mindset. And it's winning. We got to take it game by game. And then we see if we make it to get day two, then we see in quarterfinal we're playing too. If we win that, next step to semifinal. If we win that, next step to final and then everything is possible for us, I think. And then for the rest of the season, I think just keep trying to build on the first win we got and try to play till the end. Go to get a good spot in Hong Kong and then uh, we'll see from there.